How's it going guys? Welcome to another painting tutorial. This time I'm going to paint uh, Chaos Space Marines from the Ward Bearers. This time I try to incorporate new techniques on paintings such as the uh, oil wash which I would like to thank uh, Chanel Surface Minis. I saw one of his videos and I, I decided to try it out and came up pretty well. So please let me know what you think about the tutorial overall at the end and I, th I hope you enjoy it too. I'm going to start with a print gray miniature and I'm going to start using a corn red to base coat the whole miniature. Remember to thin it down with water so that it doesn't eat through your details. I decided to leave this uh, sort of a trophy rack on the top of the uh, miniature because I thought, you know, if you know uh, the ward bearers, they are very fanatical about the uh, rituals of chaos and they are the ward bearers. And um, I think part of their fluff is that they're very fanatical about the chaos symbols and the rituals. So I thought that that would be fitting for this mini. The next step I'm going to use Null Oil Wash and I'm going to use it over the whole mini. This not only is to get into the cracks and crevices, it's also useful to give it a sort of a glaze of black over the whole red area. This will make the uh, miniature seem a little bit more dark and that's what we're looking for, a very dark red. Next step, I'm going to go ahead with uh, corn red again over the most of the armor areas, just leaving a little bit of the uh, recesses dark red. And this time I used a mix of 1 to 1 to 1 paint, glaze medium, and water. This will make the, uh, the paint a little bit watery, so you might want to watch the consistency so that it's not too uh, thin. But generally, uh, if you want to layer colors over others, uh, you need a thin paint to give it a bit of a transition and that it doesn't look very uh, harsh, the change between the colors. So if you think that this paint doesn't cover very well, you just can go ahead and, and give it another, another layer. Next, I'm going to mix Corn Red and Mephiston Red one to one, and I'm going to repeat the, the uh, one to one to one ratio from Glaze Medium Water and Paint, and I'm going to start a transition through the reds and highlight the uh, these areas that are most hit by the light. With such thin paint, you can go ahead and uh, give it a second coat after the first one, first one is dried. Remember always to wait till the uh, previous uh, layer to be dry and uh, you can go ahead and give it a second highlight with the same color just because the paint is transparent. If you're not too worried about uh, quality, you can always do this maybe with an airbrush. Spray it uh, 
onto the mini at a 45 angle or maybe uh, just don't worry about uh, thinning it down maybe it's just for the sake of saving some time if you want to paint a lot of these models but looking for qual the quality I wanted uh, this is the method that I choose to paint Next, I'm going to use the Vallejo Liquid Gold Silver. You can see it there, and I'm going to start painting the trims. So, this step is going to be a little bit hard because, well, I'm using a synthetic brush and a pretty uh, cheap one, and I'm going really slowly trying to get all of the uh, rims areas of the armor. Although, this paint is really beautiful, as you may have seen see him in my uh, previous videos uh, just go ahead and you can watch my uh, how to use uh, Vallejo liquid gold range I'm gonna put it in the description below and a link here and uh, yeah just take your time and because you don't want to mess up any of the red areas that we painted before and I'm doing this right now because I thought that if if I made any mistakes with the uh, silver getting into the red areas that I didn't want to, we can still uh, fix it fix it up uh, quite well relatively easy. This is how the miniature looks with all, with all of the uh, silver parts painted. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to use Evil Sun Scarlet and I'm going to start uh, giving it uh, sort of a edge highlight on all of the edges that I can find and between the, uh, the red parts in between the silvers I'm going to make, uh, give it a, an edge highlight as well. Just follow the the edge a little bit separated from the uh, silver part and highlight the edges as you will see in this video. So I think I failed to show you guys how I painted the edges, but hopefully you can see it here, for example on the shoulder pad. Next I'm going to use Wild Rider Red, and I'm going to highlight, edge highlight again, but just on the very edges, and in the middle of uh, very long lines, or wherever you find it's, uh, it's suitable, suitable, like here, and on the edges, on the uh, inner parts of the silver areas. I mean the uh, corners. Like this. On square parts you can just highlight the uh, the corner there like I'm doing here. And these are just uh, extreme highlights. Just because the miniature is very dark it doesn't mean it won't have any extreme highlights. This is something that I just uh, recently uh, learned. Next, I'm going to give it uh, an oil wash, which is uh, mixing oil paint with uh, mineral spirits. And I'm going to do a sort of a, uh, pin washing over just the details that I want to obscure. And be careful because uh, mineral spirit will eat through uh, acrylics and maybe a uh, liquid gold wrench too, but given the, the time and the uh, enough uh, mineral spirits to do the job. So I'm just using a little bit just to obscure the details and give it a sort of a wash. And I'm not using any varnish at the moment because I would like to uh, conserve the uh, shine of the uh, liquid gold. 
and any varnish will change the uh, the appearance that I want to keep from the uh, paint. So I'm just doing it like this. Here I would like to thank um, Snouser Face Minis for the uh, tutorial that he made about the oil wash that taught me uh, a lot of a lot about it and uh, this is the first time I tried it out and it worked very well. So I'll leave a link in the description below so that you can see it. Thank you very much for watching, uh, stay tuned for the next part and I'll see you on the next video.